All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Feed the Beast Let's Play. And as this new day dawns, so does our adventures into Skyblock Survival. Feed the Beast version. All right. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. You guys, you guys hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear that. Um, oh, well. Oh, oh my god, what is this? A radio. Aww. Oh, and I can actually right click them and just turn them on and off. Well, that's not annoying at all. Um, <clears throat> alright, it looks like... This is some kind of like, but oh, what's up here? Some kind of like beginner area, old school computer. Okay, so this must be the extra life chest uh, in case you die. Um, I was told there was one of those. So, please wait five minutes, jeez. Uh, that takes a while, doesn't it? Especially considering a lot of people try to do like timed runs on this. We are not going to be doing a timed run. Fuck that shit. Oh. Um, Alright, so here's the rules. Um, as you can see, there's a giant pyramid thing over there, and, uh, yeah, so only cables and lighting may be placed on the monument. Okay, well, there's a, uh, there's a monument over there, rather. Whatever. Do not take or destroy any blocks from the spawn area. Do not take or destroy any blocks from the monument area. In the event of the death, in the event of death, visit the extra life room upstairs. For timed runs, your time has already started. Start, stand and hold, push button, count to five. Oh, I'll stand in that hole, all right. Oh. Oh, I will stand in this hole. <laughs> so I guess it's going to drop us through. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a great way to start <laughs> survival. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was brutal, guys. That was brutal. Um, now, I have played... A little bit of this um, just to try to get an idea of what to like expect from this so I wasn't completely unprepared when I started playing with you guys um, so first things first we're gonna leave that water source block in there um, and we're gonna go ahead and use our philosopher stone to switch this block to grass uh, this philosopher stone is pretty cool you can use it to change um, cobblestone and smooth stone back and forth uh, which means you don't have to smelt uh, cobblestone to get smooth stone. You can just go ahead and place the cobble down and switch it yourself. Um, it's also worth noting that if you shift click, it'll turn cobble from cobble to dirt. As you can see here, I'm just changing all this shit to dirt. Fuck y'all. Aw, oh, that one doesn't have grass. Um, but we only need one dirt block. And I would like it if they were all smooth stone. So let's go ahead and plant our tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how this is going to go, because uh, it turns out that too many items mod is not installed on this. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar with too many items mod, basically when you open up your inventory, over here um, on the right side, you will have just a ginormous list of every item in the game. And you can actually go in and like click on them and stuff like that and see how they're used, like how they're used in crafting and how you can actually craft them. And it'll show you every way possible in the game. And it's super useful, especially for something like this, where you have like all these challenges, like making different things and stuff. So we'll see how I do, I guess. I'm not really... There's going to be a lot of off-camera Googling, I can tell you that right now. Um, <laughs> probably there might be a little on-camera Googling. You never know. Um, you guys like Google, right? We're all Google fans. So, uh, I don't think it'll be too bad if we all get a little bit of Google in our lives. Uh, don't let our children use Google Plus, though. Because, uh, that shit's... That shit's not right, man. It's against, against human nature, that thing. Um, I'm really wondering what those, like, little blue things are <laughs> on the bottom of the spawn area. Those are... Those are freaking me out a little bit. Um... All right, so let's just uh, let's just hope we get another sapling. I'd love another one if we could just get like two saplings. Um, probably not though. Whew. Tell you what, guys, I was playing MC Pyramid the other day, um, 
And it turns out, it's exactly the same as it has been since the first time we played it together. Um, from what I understand, MC Pyramid's no longer being updated. Um, there is someone who made like a revamped version, but I don't think they work on that one anymore either. The revamped version isn't very, very good. Um, <clears throat> it added like a ruins, like a small ruined building at the spawn. Um, instead of just a patch of dirt in a chest, so there was like the ruins of some ancient building. Um, and that was about it, really. <laughs> um, he was working on a monster dungeon, but from what I can tell, he never finished it. So, there's that. Um, Alright guys, and if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I am working on our cobble generator. I'm going to need a bit more wood, and we're just going to go ahead and place our source block down like that. And this will be where the cobble spawns, and this will be where the lava source block is. And actually, we're going to need, let's see if I can do this, need a block right there, so we have something to stand on while we're mining the cobble. And I know what you guys are thinking, you're thinking, well, Lucas, how are you going to mine the cobble when you don't have a lava source block? That's a great question. So, as you can see, I've just finished up what I'm doing here. And it's time to get our lava source block. So we're just going to fall straight down here. Whee! And there is a nether portal below us. So we use the water to get down to that. Let's see if I can do this without dying. There we go. And we just pop into the nether real quick. Now the nether is very, very empty. Um, <laughs> there's nothing here except for the last gift. The last gift is where we are going to get our lava source block. We also get five obsidian, which is going to be hugely helpful, a jungle sapling, a red mushroom, and a dark matter pickaxe, all of which are very helpful, all of which are very helpful. Um, I don't particularly care for jungle wood, so <laughs> we're going to try to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to try to not use that. Um, <laughs> maybe I can turn it into like a regular sapling or something, I don't know. We'll find out. But, um, yep, we're just going to start making our way back up, and we should, shouldn't have too many problems. Um, it is raining, which is unfortunate, but that's, oh, oh, guys, I can't even tell you how many times I've made this climb, and I've never noticed that. What is that? Um, what does that say? I have no idea what that says. Um, I guess we'll have to find a way to get over there, eventually? Wow, okay. Alright. <laughs> Super weird, but I can deal with it. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep climbing, guys. <laughs> Try to get back to our little uh, our little sky block here. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. Um, now, the, es the estimated completion time for this, uh, for speedruns and such, is uh, 15 to 20 hours, I believe. So we will not be speed running this. We will be taking it slow and relaxed and taking our time with it. Uh, I'll try to cut out all the unimportant bits. Um, like, you know, I'm going to eventually have to make a mob grinder in the nether most likely. So I'll try to cut out um, me going up and down this waterfall all the time. Well, maybe not down. That's pretty quick. But, you know, definitely going back up. As you can see, this takes forever. Um, so I'll try to cut that stuff out and just keep the video keep it keep it to the exciting stuff as much as I can you know so um so I may actually wind up with like 400 hours of like gameplay in this but more than likely um I'll probably only end up with an hour or so of footage that I actually use um at least in this beginning part once we get set up and we get um get tons of materials and everything uh it'll be much easier to just go willy-nilly doing stuff and um I won't have to cut the recording all the time but for right now, I'm going to be cutting it a lot. Um, so let's just go ahead and get a cobble gen started. There we go. And the dark matter pick is cool because it never breaks. Uh, it has a charge level, so you can charge it up, and it'll actually uh, be more, more efficient with every charge level, a little bit faster mining speed. Um, so that's cool. And it's just, God, it's just immensely fast. It's like a diamond shovel on dirt. You know, you just click, and it destroys it. Um, oh my god, okay, <laughs> oh god, not the first time that's happened to me, um, <laughs> basically, getting those first few cobble is always a bit stressful, 
just <laughs> hello Mr. Lava Pillar <laughs> um, and it's just something god it gets me like every time it scares the shit out of me so let's see if I can replace that there we go um, and we'll just oh lord we have made all kind of a mess over here we'll just uh, start taking out these wood blocks so we don't have shit catching on fire all the time um, so that'll be nice <laughs> Let's not have shit catching on fire all the time. And we'll just make a little loop around this guy. Boom. There we go. And that should kind of protect us a little bit. And I think I will just go ahead and replace our whole platform with cobble. Um, just because... Fuck it. Because I want to. Um, <laughs> what else? <laughs> so let's start replacing this bad boy. I think if I can place these quick enough... There we go. I think I might actually be able to get the wood back. Ooh! One more, one more! Oh! Got them all back! Sweet! Stick them in the chest. Alright, and then we'll just start slowly expanding this island. I'm gonna make it, um, 9 by 9 and we're at 2, 4, 6, 7 right now. So one more on the ends, and then, obviously, it's only 3 wide, so we're gonna need a good amount on the sides. Um, God, this rain is killing me. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and mine a little bit more cobble, guys, and I'll be back when I have something interesting to show you. Alright, guys, and we're back. Um, looks like we got a little platform up, and actually, I'm going to have to light up that monument eventually because there's all kind of little gross nasty spawning on that over there. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We'll get it lit up one day. One day, it'll be nice and lit up. Um, oh, I saw something taking damage over there, that's a little weird. Um, so as you can see, I've made a little platform for us here, uh, with a nice little edge all the way around it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use our Philosopher's Stone to make it all smooth stone. Now if I charge this guy up and click, he will do a very large area of smooth stone. So we'll just go ahead and transform all of this. Go and charge him down. All right, guys, we are doing pretty good. Pretty good. I actually smooth stoned this uh, cobble gen right here, didn't I? There we go. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's go ahead and move our chest. We don't want to lose anything that's in it. Um. Bloop, bloop. And we can stick him down right there. Uh, we'll use four wood to make a crafting table. Give me that cobble. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're going to just grab, let's see, for a transmutation tablet, I'm going to need four. Okay, so I'm going to need 12 stone here. So let's just grab 12 stone real quick. do 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 do, -do. Shouldn't take too long. Should be alright. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm not getting every block from this cobble gen, so um, eventually I will make this better. And actually, I should be able to automate this cobble gen once we do the first challenge, which is the iron chest challenge. Um, I believe your prize for that is copper and redstone, and that will allow us to, um, to make a block breaker that we can actually use to completely automate this cobble gen so I won't have to keep doing it myself. Um, okay, so first things first, let's make a furnace. Cool. Alright, and now we're just gonna waste wood to do this. But it's okay because, as you can see, wood planks have an EMC of 8 and cobblestone has an EMC of 1. So for every 8 cobblestone I pick up, I can get 1 wood plank. Um, so it's not really too big of a deal that we're wasting wood on this, because it will be alright. We're going to get it back. Um, you can see the lovely, lovely sunrise. Hopefully some of those baddies over there will start catching fire. Um, and oh, oh God. It's really going through this wood, guys. <laughs> alright, that should be enough. Um, so what else am I going to need? I'm going to need four obsidian. And I'm also going to need the philosopher's stone. So let's do this, guys. It's going to be smooth stone in the middles. 
obsidian in the corners, and philosopher's stone in the middle will give us our transmutation tablet. <gasps> Ooh, spicy. So let's go ahead and stick that back in there. And, oh, actually, you know what, give it back, and we're going to get one cobble, and turn it into smooth stone, and put our transmutation tablet right on top of that. There we go. Um, so, I guess, well, I kind of already explained this. Um, basically, I'm going to pick everything up, because we are going to be um, educating our little guy here, our little... There we go. So I want to be able to teach him everything. And it looks like I can actually just turn that jungle sapling into a birch sapling, which is what I'm going to do. Um, you can't teach it the Philosopher's Stone. It has to have an EMC value for you to be able to teach it to the uh, transmutation tablet. So as you can see, when I put these things in, it's saying learned. That just means that um, it is now a recipe that the tablet knows, and I can pull that item out of it. Um, so for instance, you know, a diamond has an EMC value of 8,000 something. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, around 8,000 somewhere. Whereas a uh, cobblestone, I don't have any on me, but it has a, a value of 1. So about 8,000 cobble will make you a diamond. Um, however, if I had 8,000 right now and I stuck it all in here, I wouldn't be able to get a diamond out because the tablet doesn't know diamonds. So I actually have to teach it everything that I want it to know or else I can't get that item out of it. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys the way this works. Um, basically, you put some EMC in there. So let's burn these guys. Burn all these guys. Let's say I want some wood. Let's say I want some wood planks. I'll, I can stick that in the middle and then I can just start pulling wood planks out and you can see the amount of EMC I have in there is going down. See? Negative 3 EMC. I'm not sure why it let me get negative 3, but okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get our chest, our one obsidian, our crafting table, and our furnace back. And then I'm not sure what else I threw in there, but fuck it. We're not going to get whatever it was back. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing anything particularly that I'm missing, so I think it was just the sign, wasn't it? Sign, and then I don't know what all I threw in here, whatever. Um, okay, so we'll just leave that 61 EMC in there and we can go get it later if we need it. Um, which, I mean, we'll definitely need it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we don't need it right now, which is the point. So let's stick all this stuff back in here. And I'm going to start collecting cobblestone because before we even go over to the monument, I already know that the first thing we're going to be making is an iron chest. So I don't need to go over there just to look at it and have it tell me that I need an iron chest. Okay, well now I just wasted like probably a solid like 25 cobble getting over there and just for you to tell me something I already knew. So I'm going to start mining cobble and I'm going to get a mob grinder going because using our philosopher's stone, I can turn gold ingots into iron ingots. You get eight iron ingots per gold ingot, I believe. So we are going to need to go into the nether make a mob grinder for zombie pigmen and get nine golden nuggets so that I can make a golden ingot, make, an, make a little bit of iron there, and then make our iron chest and complete the first challenge before we even go to the monument. I think that'll be good. So um, I'm going to stop recording now because I'm going to need a couple stacks of cobble probably for this mob grinder. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys back when I have something, something cool to show you. Alright guys, I'm down here heading into the nether. Um, I got two and a half stacks of cobble. Hopefully that'll be enough. You never know though. Um, and we're going to make this on the opposite side of our alchemical chest because I have had gas spawn in here. Um, and I don't want them blowing it up, so we're going to make it over here. Um, and basically we're just going to take this out. We're going to use this whole half a stack I have to take this out. Um, so yeah, and then we'll just, at the end of it, we'll just make a little platform for mobs to spawn on. And hopefully this half a stack will get me out far enough. I don't know if 16 blocks is far enough for mobs to spawn, but I'm going to hope that it is. Let me see. Yeah, it looks about right. That should work. All right. <clears throat> And 
three on each side should do the trick. Alright, and then eight. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. And as you can see, we've got a zombie pigman spawn on top of another portal. Um, so I'll be back once I have a steady mob grinder going. Okay, guys, luckiest moment of my life. I just got a freaking gold nugget when I killed that zombie pig man. <laughs> or rather, a gold ingot. So we're just going to get the fuck out of here, <laughs> actually. And, um, oh, yeah, this fucking waterfall, though, huh? Um, all right, guys, you know what? I'll just meet you back up at the top where we will all be completing the first challenge of Feed the Beast Skyblock. All right, guys, and we've just arrived back at the top here. Um, first things first, everything needs to go into the uh, transmutation table. Right, get the fuck out of here, would you? Um, including rotten flesh. Rotten flesh. All right. And, um, yeah, basically we're just going to go ahead and complete this first challenge, guys. Um, going to need a couple of things here. All right. We'll make a chest, put it in the middle, oops, well first off we need to turn this into iron, which we will also teach, oh my god I almost threw it off the side of that, which we will also teach to our transmutation tablet, and then we can make an iron chest, which once again will be taught to our transmutation tablet. Now, we have to get over there, and I think probably this block. Alright, there we go, and I'm actually completely out of cobble because I was uh, making that mob spawner in the nether. So we're going to mine some cobble, guys, and I'll be back once I have enough to get over to the monument. shouldn't take too long, so don't worry. Okay, guys, and we are ready to go across, although it is, like, you know, the middle of the night right now. So I don't want to go across just yet. Um, <laughs> Look at him getting flung off the monument. <laughs> Um, those green torches you see are interdiction torches, and what they do is they actually repel mobs. So I guess, um, due to the placement of the interdiction torches, like, yeah, see that spider over there actually can't move because of the interdiction torches. So, um, so yeah, I guess occasionally they just get, like, shot out, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to be waiting for daytime, which is creeping up right now, so I think I will go ahead and start, um making a little bridge over here. Cool. I think it's about 25 blocks. I guess we'll find out. I have more than enough, I know. Um, so we'll find out how many it is, and that'll be information. I don't know if it'll be useful or not. Um, but I guess, I mean, it can't hurt to know, right? Can't hurt to know. All right. So I almost died. Um, <laughs> and we actually had seven blocks left over, so that's cool. And we're just going to place those there. And, oh boy, guys. So you can see here there's a challenge for an iron chest, which I brought. So we will go ahead and throw this. This is a uh, block sucker upper. I'm not exactly sure what the hell it's called. But basically you throw it over there, and it'll suck up your block. Yeah, suck it up, dude. What you doing? Oh, shit. It's kind of laggy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, guys, and it looks like my little blue light here just turned on. So, I'm assuming that means I get a reward now. So, if I walk out here to these other rooms, some of these lights should be on, and I should have a little reward chest to give me cool things. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's some blue lights right here. And it looks like my prize is a copper ingot and a redstone. And you can't really do anything with those two items, but we do have a transmutation tablet, so I can turn that into way more, and then we can get some cool stuff going. So uh, let me just uh, teach this stuff to my transmutation tablet and get some materials together. And we will start making some pretty cool stuff, guys. All right. All right, guys. And it looks like to do what I want to do here, um, I'm going to need basically like a shit ton of cobble. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to mine cobble for a good, long, solid while until I have enough to make what I want to make. So, um... Next time you guys see me, I'll be old and gray. All right.
Alright guys, I'm back. Just real quick to tell you that there is hella stuff for me to do. So I'm actually going to end the episode here. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, take it easy.